Hey guys, tonight on Beer Geek Nation, we are looking at Smutty Notes Brewing's Big A IPA. Hey guys, welcome to Beer Geek Nation. I am your host, Chris Stelz. Um, tonight we're going to be looking at a brewery's beer from up in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Um, the other brewery up there, uh, Smutty Nose Brewing. Um, this is their Big A IPA. It's a double imperial ale, uh, phew, imperial IPA, let me try that again, uh, DIPA, imperial IPA, whatever you want to call it, same thing, 9.6 ABV, um, hopped, hopped like crazy, it's got an excellent malt ba backbone, this was actually part of their big beer series, um, which is kind of a, a new trend that breweries are doing, they're kind of doing these one-off limited releases, um, seasonally, every two, three months, and they're trying to, and Basically, what they're doing, they're experimenting with new styles, and if something hits, um, then they, you know, they're going to release it to the masses year-round. And that is the case with the Big A IPA. They released it in their Big Beer series. That was about a year ago, and it was so popular that now they are releasing it year-round, 12 months a year, in 12-ounce bottles, which is what this is. So this is the newest batch of the year-round release. This isn't the Big Beer series one. It's the same ABV, same recipe, as far as I know. So it should be just as good. I've had the um, original one in the 22-ounce bottle series. I've also had their Big Beer, the Farmhouse um, Ale, and I've had their uh, Baltic Porter, which are both excellent, so if you can find those. Um, I believe there's five or six styles I do, the Farmhouse Ale, Baltic Porter, <coughs> excuse me, Imperial Stout, the Big A IPA. Um, they do a, a wheat wine, which I'm going to be reviewing here pretty soon. Um, but they release them once a year, and there's five or six styles they release um, throughout the year. But if you can get a hold of them, definitely try them. I've, they're, they're really good. Um, they also, Smutty Nose also makes excellent session beers. They're brown, and their uh, regular IPA are just dead on. Really great session beers, just refreshing, really good session beers. Um, let's see what else. That is about it. So, uh, oh. I could thank uh, Zulzu from Beer Advocate for sending me this in a trade. Much appreciated. So with that said, uh, let's get into the glass. Uh, let you know how it smells, how it tastes, and we'll give you the verdict on it. So with pouring, um, you get the usual fresh double IPA hop smell. Not as big as some of the other ones I've had, not nearly as big as Pliny or Hop Slam or any of those, um, but it's definitely, you know, you can definitely smell the citrus from the hops. It actually smells like a West Coast double IPA, to tell you the truth. Um, really, you know, good pour on it, so two fingers worth of white head. Good lacing, excellent lacing, actually. Um, light orange, light haze from the hop resins and oils, so it's a very characteristic of a double IPA. So again, you know, they're dead on with that. And as far as the smell, yeah, it's uh, very west, it's very uh, west coast IPA smelling. Um, citrus, a lot of grapefruit, a lot of orange, a lot of mango. Um, definitely smell the pine from some of the hops in there. Probably, definitely, probably Cascade hops are in there. A few different hop varieties from what I can tell. Yeah, it's, it smells really good. It smells really fresh, um, which is I wasn't surprised by, but it's kind of like a how Pliny the Elder just smells like fresh, like pop in your face. It has that same kind of freshness to it. Um, getting a little bit of a uh, like a resin malt smell, um, so the malt characters are definitely there. Um, this beer does have a pretty solid malt backbone to it, so I think that's what I'm getting in it. Yeah, a lot of bitterness up front, a lot of bitterness up front. Um, it is a little bit overpowering at first. You do get, it's really bitter up front. As it goes to the back, you do get the citrus, you get a lot of the malt, kind of kills all the bitterness, um, but it is a really bitter beer at first. Um, I, I wouldn't call it well balanced, but it's double IPA, that's you know the nature of the style, they're not balanced beers. Um, but this one definitely does have a, a bitter bite to it at first there. Um, by the time it's in the back, you know, you get that really sweet malt backbone. Hop characters are definitely there. I'm getting a lot of citrus, peach, mango. Not really overwhelming, 
um, as far as the hot characters go. And I don't really taste any of the alcohol, which I'm surprised at 9.6%. I'm not getting any of that. So they masked it really well with the hops and the mull and stuff. So that's, that's surprising. It kind of actually tastes like a session beer, but 9.6%, I wouldn't drink too many of those. Um, but it does, they do hide it very well. Um, very good lacing, actually. I tell you, it reminds me a little bit, um, if you can't get this, if you can find any of um, Sierra Nevada's Celebration Ale. It's their Christmas release beer. I know I see it all, <laughs> pretty much year-round at some uh We have beer distributors here, but at liquor stores and stuff, um, I always see it. That's what this reminds me of. It reminds me of a more bitter um, Sierra Nevada Celebration Ale. It just has that Sierra Nevada stone kind of double IPA taste. It actually tastes a little bit like, speaking of stone, their Ruination IPA. A little bit like that. Not quite as bitter, but a little bit like that. Excuse me. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this one an 8. It's a really good double IPA. It's not the best I've ever had, um, but there are so many double IPAs out there. It's kind of hard to set yourself out from the pack. This is a really, you know, if you've never had a double IPA and you can get this, go to town. Um, if you've never had a Smutty Nose beer, this is a you know a good one to try. Um, I definitely recommend any of their big beer series, their Wheat Wine, their Farmhouse Ale is just phenomenal. Um, it's their like Saison. But yeah, this is a Smutty Nose Brewing. It's their Big A IPA, 9.6% double IPA. Um, I'm going to give it, like I said, an 8, and I think it's, it's worth checking out if you can find it. It's available year-round now. This was a big beer series. Um, so, until then, until next time, I should say, cheers.